Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry, I was just looking at myself in the viewfinder and I realised I didn't have any lipstick on. I was like, why don't I look quite right? And that is why. So bear with me a second. I'm just going to pop on this Milani lip liner in Spice. I was like, I feel like everything's just kind of blending in. Like I'm just like almost the same colour as the jumper I'm wearing and... The background so I was like something is missing okay lip liner done and then I'm going to use no let's let's use this actually this is I got this in the net supporter advent calendar this is Westman Atelier squeaky queen ugh. <laughs> squeaky clean liquid lip balm so it's really, really nice. Um, it's very like nourishing. There we go. Oh God, I look quite pale as well, don't I? Maybe I need a little bit more bronze. Maybe I need some more bronze. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. That's just a little bit up here, a little bit there. Oh, my eyebrows are everywhere too. Right, anyway, we're going to finally start this video. <laughs> so, hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. It has felt like such a long time since I sat down in front of the camera. I don't know why. I don't think it's been that long, but it's nice to be back and chatting with you guys. So, it is actually December the 8th. I am really annoyed at myself. I really wanted to get more videos out around December. I wanted to do like more like Vlogmas style videos. I knew I wasn't going to do an everyday Vlogmas. But I did want to do more festive content. Um, but I have been struck down. Um, I felt really, really poorly over the last like four or five days. I think I've had like a bit of a stomach bug. And yeah, I've just literally like not even really been able to get out of bed. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's not been fun. It's not been great. So I did start doing vlogmas over on TikTok uh, where I was posting a vlog every single day. But then, like I said, I was ill so I was spending just days in bed which obviously nobody needs to see um so yeah but I'm feeling so much better today thankfully you know when you're ill and you just think is this ever going to get better like am I like am I ever gonna feel good again and I woke up this morning and I was like oh my god I feel better thank god so I thought I would vlog today seeing as I'm feeling better um I did actually decorate the Christmas tree yes no, not yesterday, sorry, Sunday, so a good like four days ago. And I did take some footage of it, but it was when I was just starting to feel a little bit poorly. So the footage isn't great, but I will pop it in in a minute. Um, and I'll also like properly show you the tree and everything like that as well. But before we get started, it is that time again where I show you a few new pieces that I picked up from Monica Vinada. You guys will probably know if you've been watching me for a long time how much I love Monica Vinada. They are my absolute fave jewelry brand. They have been ever since I was young. I think about 16 years old is when I first got my first piece as a present and I've loved them ever since. So I picked up a few new bits recently because they just released some new collections. So I thought I would show you guys what I got. And as always, I do have a discount code for them too. So I'll pop that on the screen here. So yeah, definitely a great time. Maybe if you're looking to buy any presents or anything like that, it'd be a good chance to get some discount off. So. Monica Vineda pieces, let me just open this. So all of Monica Vineda jewellery is made from 100% recycled sterling silver or 18 karat gold vermeil. A lot of their pieces are engravable as well, which makes such lovely gifts. And they also come with a five year guarantee, which means that if anything happens to your jewellery within five years of purchasing it, they will fix, replace, repair, whatever it is for you, which I think is so, so good. And they do that all included. And then after the five years, if anything happens after that, they charge a small fee to fix it for you. So it's such a good like kind of way of, you know, wearing jewellery sustainably and not having to buy new pieces all the time because they are such good quality pieces and then also if anything was to happen they will fix it for you so yeah anyway let me show you the pieces that I picked out so first up I got this ring and this is actually a gift for my mum so I'm going to tell her not to watch this video um, but it's this kind of double flat quite chunky ring she loves her chunky rings and i just thought this was really really nice and yeah so i picked that one up for my mum um so yeah that's that one and then next up i got these absolutely gorgeous little huggy hoop earrings so i'll actually pop them in now so you can see i kind of got them more to wear in my second holes but i can't change my second holes yet because they're not 100% healed so Let's pop them in my fur so you guys can see. There we go, that is what they look like there. Oh, I really like them. 
They're so comfortable. Literally, I could definitely wear them every day. I'm going to keep them in now. Really, really like them. I love the little like kind of texture on them as well. I think they're so, so nice. Love them. My current battery's flashing. Let me go change it. <laughs> okay, all changed. But yeah, I absolutely love these. Please ignore any like crustiness you see <laughs> around these second piercings. They're still not healed. Um, but yeah, these are so, so nice. Such a good everyday hoop, but also good for stacking as well. So next up, I also picked up a couple of chains. So this is the first one that I got. I'll show you it on in a second. But I've been really, really loving layering chains at the minute. I just think it looks so, so nice, uh, especially worn over like jumpers and stuff like that. So I just picked up this simple chain and I really liked that the different kind of, um, what, how would you describe that? The different kind of shape of the chain makes it look like a little bit sparkly if that makes sense because the flatter bits kind of catch the light really, really nicely. So I picked up the necklace version of that and then I also picked up the bracelet version because I just thought that would look nice sort of layered with my other bracelets. I already wear um, my Monica Vinida bangle here, which I think I showed you guys. I think I got this in a video a while back. Um, but yeah, I already wear that all the time, so I thought it would just be nice to have another another couple chains to wear with it there. So yeah, really like those two little bits. I like that they match as well. And then lastly, in this big box, I actually picked up another bangle. So as I said, I wear this bangle all the time. I got it engraved with our wedding day, um, and yeah, I sleep in it. It's so, so comfortable, and I absolutely love it. So I decided to pick up another one. And this one I got engraved with um, a little snippet from Sam's Vows, which I just thought would be really nice to wear alongside the other one. So I obviously couldn't get like the whole vows on there or anything like that, but at the end of his vows, he said, I promise to be the person to love you for the rest of our lives. So I decided to get the rest of our lives uh, engraved on there. So I'm gonna try and show you. There we go, I think. There we go, I think you can see that. So I'm gonna stack them together. Because I think, oh, I think that looks really, really nice together. Love that. Really happy with that. So cute. <laughs> So they are all the pieces that I picked up from Monica Binader. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I will leave them linked all down below, of course. And don't forget to use my discount code as well, which I'll pop on the screen. I'll also pop it in the description box as well. Uh, it's a great time to obviously pick up some bits for loved ones or also just to treat yourself as well. So yeah, anyway, I am now going to get on with the rest of the day. I have some Black Friday purchases that arrived that I wanted to show you guys. Um, and I also want to start wrapping up some presents and stuff like that um, because I've just got like bits and bobs all over the house and I kind of want to get them all sorted, put under the tree. Uh, and I'm going to show you our Christmas decks as well. So let's go downstairs so I can show you. So before I show you the decorations, I'm going to pop in the footage of us decorating here. Hey everybody. So it is tree decorating day, finally. This is the latest that I've ever left it to decorate the tree. Normally I have the tree up and decorated in November, but it is actually, what day is it? December the 4th or something. Um, so yeah, but it is time to go. We've just sorted out the living area, like just to make space for the tree. I always find like it's so difficult when you have to move around all of your furniture to fit the tree because then nothing else looks right. But I don't know, it doesn't look great, but kind of moved our like big leather chair over to the side so we can put the tree by the window. I feel like I vlog this every year, so I probably won't vlog like loads. Oh, sorry, that light's annoying, it keeps flashing. Probably won't vlog like loads of this, um, but yeah, I thought it'd be nice to show you guys once it's all up and decorated anyway. So don't mind the noise. I feel like our neighbor's like cutting their hedge or something. Um, but this is the little garland that I did over our fireplace. I did this last year as well. Basically it's a um, white company garland, which is pre-lit. And I just laid that over the top and then I got all these kind of fa um, fake foliage and also some real foliage and then kind of weaved that throughout it. So these little fake eucalyptus 
and then oh no that's definitely not fake because it's going everywhere um this is fake as well they're all from neptune i just got the sprigs last year and then i as i said pop some real bits in it so like this is real this is real uh this is real i found these little berries on the floor uh they fell off one of our other garlands um what else is real this is real this stuff's real so yeah i've kind of popped a few little real bits this is real as well but it's kind of like looks like it's a bit sparse popped a few little bits in there but i just think it looks really really nice i'm quite happy with that and then over here we have these little uh houses which i got from zara home they actually do light up but i think i need to replace the batteries because they're not that bright actually that one's not too bad but yeah i got those from zara home and i just thought they were really cute and here is our tree it is pretty big this tree um i think it's like it's either nine or ten foot it's a pretty big one but yeah this is our tree i mean i didn't really get any new baubles this year so you guys would have just seen it all from before um this i get asked about a lot is from oliver bonus and i actually have a couple more which i got from mns a couple years ago but they don't sell them anymore i need to put some pictures in these um they don't sell them anymore but i'm sure you could get them from somewhere else but i just think they're quite nice on the christmas tree i also always put polaroids on the tree as well which i've done for years um these are from the white company last year these i got in antwerp um i get quite a lot of them from mns actually that was from mns these were cocks and cocks these little uh feathery ones I'm trying to remember this is the bauble i got sam the year we got engaged oh hang on <laughs> hang on nearly dropped you there um yeah, that's the bauble I got Sam the year we got engaged. I think I got this off Etsy, so I'll see if I can link it. Uh, I've got a little Raffi bauble here. <laughs> um, and yeah, again, just like a few Polaroids and stuff like that. I think I got these from Cox and Cox. Can't quite remember. But yeah, I didn't really get any new ones this year. Um, oh, these balls I always get asked about. I'm pretty sure they were either Cox and Cox or John Lewis. Oh, the only one new bauble I did get is this, which is a little Robin um, for my grandpa who sadly is no longer with us. Um, so yeah, I thought that was nice. Uh, so yeah, that is, that's the tree. So, you know, nothing, nothing too new to report about it. But yeah, that's that. And then over here, I mean, I don't know why I'm acting like it's really festive over here, it's not at all. But I just have these little Christmas trees that are from Cox and Cox. And this is a candle that I got from Habitat in Sainsbury's and it is so, so nice and I just love it. And it looks so pretty when um, it's lit. And then I have another, uh, Christmas tree there and then over here I have a couple Christmas trees uh, these are from Neptune I just thought they were really nice uh, and then I also put a picture for my wedding here I love this picture so much let me see if I can get close into it oh I love it um but yeah so they were just from Neptune this is just a Sainsbury's candle that I picked up was it Sainsbury's or was it M&S oh no it's M&S frankincense and myrrh to be honest I wouldn't write home about it it's okay but it's not as good as the Sainsbury's one I have this little wreath which is just hanging on here at the minute but I'd like to put it on the door I'm just waiting to um, get a command strip hook thing which I've ordered off Amazon I'm trying to remember where that wreath is from I think it's from Cox and Cox I'm pretty sure um, but yeah and then <laughs> sorry excuse my washing these are my next festive uh, addition to the house this book is really dirty um, I just picked these up from Habitat they were on sale and I just thought they were really really nice um so yeah little festive christmas trees and this candle is also from habitat again it was on sale it smells oh it smells unbelievable i don't know hang on let me no it doesn't say what it is oh no wait oh yeah lilac and patchouli but oh my god it smells unbelievable however i'm a bit confused because oh yeah i'm a bit confused because these wicks are like in the wax so how do i get them out do i have to like dig them out i've never come across this in a candle before is it faulty or is it just that I need to just dig them out? Like, like, look, I can't, I can't get to them. So yeah, I need your help on that one. Yeah, that is pretty much all of the festive things in the house. I don't really, I only tend to kind of decorate one room to be honest. I know a lot of people have like multiple Christmas trees and do loads of different decorations. Oh, I've also got this cushion. This cushion, I'm pretty sure I got from H&M a couple years ago. Um, just says Merry Christmas. I do also have a garland around the stairs as well, um, but that's not very exciting. It's just the garland up the stairs. Um, but yeah, so they are my festivities, my festive decor. Um, and now I'm going to show you what I got Black Friday. I didn't actually buy that much of Black Friday because, well, I just didn't really need that much. Um, I more bought presents. Sorry, please excuse the fact that I'm in my PJs. Well, these are PJ bottoms. Um, but I did get some bits from the white company, so let me show you. Guys, it is minus 
four degrees outside today minus four and when sam woke up this morning because he goes to work really early it was like what time was it half six or whatever minus six minus six we have um single glazing in our house which we really need to change to be honest uh, but it's an old house and that means that we get quite a lot of condensation on our windows and it's like normally that like the water drips down onto the windowsill it had all frozen this morning like i had icicles on our windowsill <laughs> it is so so cold out i've got a thermal underneath this but anyway let's get into the white company here we go this stuff on black friday and it was black friday was like three weeks ago now so i can't quite remember what i picked up i know i picked up like some candles and bits like that i wanted some some festive scents you know um right okay that's that's not candles that is a gift for my friend so let's ignore that do you know what i feel like there's something missing because i don't think it's all going to fit in this box but anyway let's see let's you down a little bit i think sam and i are going to head to the shops tonight because we've suddenly realized it's the 8th of december and we haven't really got i normally have like most of my christmas shopping done by now but we haven't got a lot of things um so yeah i was like maybe we should just go into town and see you know what we need and what we need to get for people they had such a good black friday deal they had 20 percent off which uh, yeah i took full advantage of okay 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 yeah i'm sure we bought more bits than this okay so first up oh they've like packaged it all together okay i really could do with some scissors First up, we have, oh God. Okay, first up, I picked up the winter candle. I already have one of these on our coffee table and it fills our entire downstairs with this like beautiful smell. And honestly, it's cinnamon, clove and orange and it just smells unbelievable. And it looks so pretty as well. So I thought I would get one of these for our kitchen because we have the, one in the lounge and then I thought we have one in the kitchen as well it's just gonna make the smell even more intense and yeah I just love it so much so I picked that up when they had the 20% off because I thought it was um a good deal and I picked up a little candle plate for it as well because they like to just sit on the candle plate there thought that would be nice oh my b-reel's just gone off let me take it are you guys on the b-reel hype I have like three people on there but that's kind of the way I want to keep it I just have like my super super close friends on there and that's it um, but yeah, I do love seeing like what they're up to and yeah, I find it, find it really fun. So smile for my B-Real. Um, oh wow, I'm going to have to retake that. Um, there we go, right. So then next up, I picked up a fireside candle. This is one of my favourite white company scents. It literally smells like a beautiful, big, burning open fire in like a country pub oh it's so nice smoked wood birch and amber and yeah i just absolutely love having it on so i picked that up as well and then okay these are mostly candles i picked up two winter scents for um presents for people so there's two people i'm giving these to i'm not going to say who they are in case they're watching i don't think they watch but um yeah, I just thought that would be a nice prezi and I'm going to give them to them like a bit before Christmas because I think it's nice to have this scent, oh my god, <laughs> burning around Christmas time. So yeah, just the two winter candles. These are priced at £20, so with the discount I think that brought them down to, oh god, don't make me do maths, £16 or something like that. But I just thought they're quite a good price for like a small present for someone. And then I treated myself to some new PJs. I should probably give these to Sam to give me for Christmas, to be honest. But you guys know I can't resist the white company pajamas. Like they're just so soft. Love them so, so much. Uh, and I honestly just wear mine to absolute death and they wash so, so well. Like I've had mine for years and years, wash them so well, wash them all the time, like literally all the time. And they are still so, so good. So yeah. I just picked up this little navy pair, which I thought was nice. It's got like the white piping on it. And then these are the bottoms. They're very, very simple, but I kind of liked that. But yeah, really, really simple, but just so unbelievably soft. I love them so much. And then last up, is this some candles again or is this a diffuser? Oh yeah, this is another gift for 
someone. It's for our dog Walker. I feel like she definitely doesn't watch my videos, but maybe she does. No, um, yeah, so I got this candle for our dog Walker. Um, and I'm gonna get some other little bits as well. And then I picked this candle up for me because you know, I was a bit frazzled at, around Black Friday because I was trying to create loads of content and gift guides and things like that. So when I came to this order, it was actually really late at night and I feel like I wasn't really thinking straight. And yeah, I kind of wish I'd got a few more like little bits and bobs. Like I wish I got my mum a candle and stuff. But anyway, sorry mum, you didn't get a candle. Um, I suppose I could give her this, but I really want it for me. <laughs> Maybe I'd give her fireside, but then she already has a really nice wood burner. So she doesn't, she already has that scent. Anyway, um, this is Midnight and it's ginger cardamom and amber and it's got a really nice kind of like i just hit myself in the face a really nice like fluted um jar that it sits in so i just think it looks lovely when uh it's burnt and also it had really good reviews i'm trying to smell it i don't know what to do because what if i do want to give it to my mom no do you know what I'm it. don't worry my mom's got plenty of gifts from me so um Again, this one's £20. I mean, if I don't like it, then it can go to my mum. Okay, do you know what? I was expecting to be a little bit more blown away by that scent. Oh, I've just got lipstick on it. Like, I really like the um, jar. I wish all the white company candles came in that jar. It's okay. Like, I wouldn't... This had such good reviews. It is quite gingery, which I don't know if I really want a candle to be gingery. I'm not sure about that. Well, anyway, that's that one. <laughs> Mum, you might be getting this for Christmas. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, so I've already opened it now. But, um, yeah, I love all of the other White Company scents. Like, pretty much every single one of them. I've never smelled that one, but it had good reviews, so... I don't know, I'm torn. Maybe it'll smell a little bit... It doesn't not smell nice, but I just don't think it's, like, out of this world. But maybe it'll smell nicer when I burn it. So yeah, that's all the bits that I got from the White Company. So yeah, sorry, it was just mostly just scents and literally three of the same candle. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, I'm going to make some lunch now because I am starving. Uh, I'm actually having leftover pasta from yesterday. I made a uh, courgette. It was like courgette, um, like creme fraiche. Courgette, creme fraiche, parmesan, rigatoni. So I'm going to have that now. Um, sort all this stuff out and then I'm gonna pop to the shops and get some sellotape and stuff like that and then I can start doing my wrapping although I'm really annoyed because I ordered some green ribbon and it hasn't arrived yet which I'm sad about so I don't know whether to wait for that or not sure I might wrap like I've got a lot of like kids presents I need to wrap up and I don't tend to put ribbon on them because it's just annoying for the kids when they want to open it and they're like struggling with the ribbon so I don't tend to put the ribbon on them um so I might just wrap theirs up possibly, but I haven't got any sellotape, so I need to go get some sellotape. Right, I feel like I've just talked a million miles an hour, so I'm gonna go make some lunch now, and yeah, then I might head out to the shop. So this is my bowl of pasta, and this is the recipe. Obviously, it doesn't look like that right now because this is leftovers. Guys, look how frosty it is out there. So frosty. Look at Rafi's little giraffe as well. <laughs> Bless it, it must be so cold. <laughs> Guys, I just got a delivery from Popser and I'm trying to do this with one hand. Come on. <laughs> so I ordered this a couple days ago for our tree because I thought it'd be nice to have some wedding pics on the tree. Well, one wedding. What? Oh my god, I did not think it was gonna be purple. Why is it purple? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm sad. So this is what I ordered. Hang on. Which I thought would be really nice, but I thought it was just black and white. I didn't think it had like a purple tinge to it. <laughs> Why has it got a purple tinge? That's a shame. I just thought that would look really nice hanging on the tree, but the purple tinge is just really putting me off, but oh well. It doesn't matter, I suppose, but... <laughs> I mean, if you guys can work out how to remove the purple tinge, I think it's a really nice little bauble. But yeah, how annoying. Strange. There we go. 
So I was just filming a TikTok and I thought I may as well show you guys these in the vlog as well. If you guys are struggling to know what to buy your grandparents for Christmas this year, then these are such a good idea. Not just grandparents to be fair, because they do do them for mums, dads, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, that kind of thing. So anyone really that you think would really like this kind of sentimental, thoughtful gift. Um, they're really reasonable, I think they're around 10 to 20 pounds. And they're basically memory journals. So they have loads of questions in them, all ranging from like, their very very earliest memories all the way up to like being adults and then sort of like like sort of life questions as well at the end of that um there's so many questions like like look as you can see it like fills up this whole book so this definitely took my grandparents like a good probably at least six months to kind of get through it all um so yeah i have one for my grandma and one for my grandpa my grandpa as you guys will know because i said it earlier in the video has since passed away um so to have this is just so like special to me obviously because just to have like all of his memories and thoughts and everything like that written down is just incredible um yeah and like not something that i would have had had i not given him this so yeah i mean apart from his writing is so so small like <laughs> you literally need a magnifying glass to um to even read it they're just really special. I will leave them linked down below because I think they're just a lovely gift. And um, my grandparents loved doing them. And my grandma actually left me a note here, which said, Dear Ruby, <laughs> today I finished my journal of a lifetime. At first I didn't know how to tackle writing it, but once I started, I was away. I've really enjoyed doing it and I do hope you'll enjoy reading it. It's reinforced something I've always known. I was born under a lucky star and I've had an incredibly happy life. I've done my best to share my happiness with many others and I do hope some has passed on to you. My children and gran grandchildren have contributed so much to me. Long may it last. And I just think that is so special. And some of the things that are written in here are just absolutely beautiful. Um, like there's a question that says, um, what made you fall in love with grandpa? And it's just lovely. And it actually makes me really sad now because obviously my grandpa isn't here anymore. Yeah, it's just lovely. Like she's written like, I cannot imagine what life without him would have been like. For me, he has been the perfect husband, the greatest gift of all. And our four children and ever increasing number of grandchildren and great grandchildren continue to give us all we could ever wish for. And like just to have those sort of things written down are just so special. Just thought I would mention them while I'm here. And also while I'm here, this is really not to do with <laughs> that at all. But last night, me and Sam, Sam and I, I always correct myself like that in the vlog and it's funny that I just did it after speaking about that because my grandma used to be the one that would always correct me when I say like, oh, me and mum, me and whoever, she'd be like, mum and I. Um, anyway, <laughs> we watched The Swimmers last night on Netflix. Oh my goodness, what a film. Phenomenal, like incredible. One of the best things I've watched in a very, very long time. It's so sad and so like moving and harrowing, but also so amazing. Like honestly and it's a true story you have to watch it please 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 go and watch it it's basically about two uh, syrian refugees and their very very dangerous um literally like horrific uh crossing to leave syria and get to safety in germany and but they are both professional swimmers and it's, it's all about that and i don't want to ruin it too much for anyone but you have to go and watch it honestly it was so 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 good and somebody messaged me because i put it on my instagram and someone messaged me and said, if you liked Swimmer, you will, oh, where is it? If you love Swimmers, you need to watch Nakba on Netflix, N-A-K-B-A. -A. Um, so I'm going to watch that one next. And then someone else messaged as well um, to watch Farha on Netflix, so F-A-R-H-A. -A. So I think there's a few, um, but yeah, couldn't recommend enough. So, so, so good. So we are just back from the traffic centre. We literally only ended up going in for like... 40 minutes it was so busy in there and yeah we didn't have we didn't have a lot of luck <laughs> Rafi you always have to stand straight in the way don't you don't you <laughs> yeah we didn't have much luck in there to be honest but I also feel like we didn't go in with a very good plan we didn't really know what we were getting so we just got some bits for our like nieces and nephews and stuff like that so I don't really know if this is like a bit niche to show you guys because it's all like kids clothing but I thought I'd show you anyway because I personally love kids clothing, I don't know what it is about it, it's just so cute isn't it? Um, Rafi, you're in the way my love. <laughs> look how nice my bracelets look as well, so happy with them. Sam, will you call him please? Yeah. Go on Raf. Good boy. Oh, thanks for that Rafi. Uh, so yeah, just 
thought I would show you what we got them. So first up, we got our little nephews who are the same age. We got them matching. Uh, we got them these little like corduroy trousers. I just thought these were quite cute. I feel like the parents are going to hate us because we've all just bought like light coloured clothes, which probably is the worst possible thing, but they're just so cute. I feel like the colour is really not coming up very well on camera, but yeah, we got um, those little cords and then we got this little shirt, which I thought would be cute, like maybe one open with like a little white tee underneath or something. But yeah, so we got those and then two sets of those. Um, and then for my niece, um, I got her this little jumper. This is all from Zara, by the way. Got her this little jumper, which I thought was really cute. I actually feel like I want one of these myself. And then to go with that, because I like buying an outfit, I got these little cord, something about little cord trousers. I just think they're so cute. Um, these little cord trousers. So it will look kind of, no, no, I'm not really showing this very well, am I? Kind of like this. <laughs> There we go. Didn't really show that very well. Yeah, that's literally all we got. And I'm really annoyed at myself because I made a mental note to stop at Paper Chase and get some sellotape so I could start wrapping presents and I forgot. So that's annoying. So I'll have to start that tomorrow. But I'm gonna finish this vlog here because I feel like it's probably getting quite long. I don't know. Sam's watching TikToks on his phone. Right. <laughs>